choice to stand with their communities, and instead they stood with the Prime Minister, and now they're hiding and hoping that everybody forgets. If these MPs won't listen to their constituents, won't advocate for them in the House of Commons, and won't even stand to defend their vote, then what are they even doing here? We have never spent so much in this country to achieve so little. Government spending went up by more than 7 percent, and the economy still shrank by 1.1 percent. We have the lowest GDP per capita growth today and for the next 40 years of any advanced economy, according to their own budget. Canadians get higher taxes, higher spending, and more regulation. They are getting poorer. The Prime Minister didn't mislead Parliament when he himself voted to list the IRGC as terrorists, but he did mislead Canadians by not having the courage to actually do it when he had the chance. Mr. Speaker, it's time for the Liberals to stop defending the IRGC, and it's time to start standing up to them. Crime is out of control in our biggest cities. There's a 32 percent increase. Young people can't buy a home because the price has doubled under their watch, and groceries face double-digit inflation. The house is on fire, and the Liberals are showing up with the flamethrower. The choice is clear. It's freedom versus control, prosperity versus poverty, and technology versus more taxes. Enough with the lectures from this minister. Canadians can't afford to be duped by her any longer. More liberal spending equals higher inflation, which leads to higher interest rates, which leads to higher mortgages. So how many Canadians have to be in jeopardy of losing their homes before the liberals stop spending, stop raising taxes, and actually start building homes? <laughs> when the government spends money, the bank raises the interest rates. And when the rates go up, Canadians pay more for their mortgages. So will the NDP liberal government finally listen to everyone or anyone, stop their spending so that Canadians can keep their homes. The Prime Minister's carbon tax has already ruined Christmas for millions of Canadian families. So Conservatives are going to ruin Christmas vacation for this Prime Minister and his Liberal MPs. We will stay here as long as it takes to force them to axe the tax so the Canadians can afford gas, groceries and home heating. So Mr. Speaker, how long are we going to be here? Is it one week? Is it two weeks? Is it three weeks until this Prime Minister finally relents and cancels his carbon tax on farmers, on families, and on First Nations. Yeah.